And uh, so this has been something that's been going on over the last uh, couple a uh, couple days. Uh, and uh, it appears, and now I just want to underscore this with it's totally possible that like, you know, it's a coincidence, right? It's, a, it's possible, right? Like Joe Biden had to, uh, you know, quit running for president in 1988 over plagiarism. So, I mean, you know, Kamala Harris plagiarizing, Joe Biden plays her. I mean, it's possible that it's just an accident, right? And we're all overreacting to this. It's possible it's a right wing hit job and we're all overreacting to this. But at the same time, I don't give a shit. And it's funny. So I've got this new story here of uh, apparently Kamala Harris had like a biography written about her or something like uh, like last, like, I don't know, whatever. And in that biography, she told a story that appears to have been ripped from a Martin Luther King Jr. Um, interview. And so I've got, I've got this little thing here. And then I've got the uh, Kamala Harris version. So I'm going to read the Kamala Harris version first, and then we'll go from there. So Senator Kamala Harris, I need to get, I need to get like background music, like the pretending to be serious music. Someone like try to find some like royalty free, like pretend. I need to get something. I need to expand the musical capabilities. But Senator Kamala Harris started a life she work young. She laughs from a gut. The way you would with family, as she remembers being wheeled through an Oakland, California civil rights march in a stroller with no straps, with no straps, with her parents and her uncle. At some point, she fell from the stroller. Parents, few safety regulations existed for children's equipment back then. Thank you for the history lesson. And the adults, caught up with the rapture of protest, just kept on marching. By the time they noticed little Kamala was gone and doubled back, she was understandably upset. My mother tells the story about how I was fussing, Harris says, and she's like, baby, what do you want? What do you need? And I just looked at her and I said, freedom? Unbelievable. So now let's read uh, the Martin Luther King interview. I never will forget a moment in Birmingham when a white policeman accosted a little Negro girl, seven or eight years old, who was walking in a demonstration with her mother. What do you want? The policeman asked her gruffly, and the little girl looked him straight in the eye and answered, Feed him! She couldn't even pronounce it, but she knew. It was beautiful. Many times, when I have been in sorely trying situations, the memory of that little one has come into my mind and has buoyed me. So that's what Martin Luther King said. And uh, so is it, did, is it possible that Kamala Harris had a similar interaction as a kid? Totally possible. It's possible, right? It's one of those things that it's very possible. Is it likely? Well, that's a different calculation. Is it likely? I don't know. But is it possible? I don't I, It's I, Hey. So interestingly enough, other times, Kamala Harris uh, has been, you know, in a position where she could lie or tell the truth. She said she supported $2,000 stimulus payments. And then, when push came to shove, she voted to proceed with the vote for the defense bill. So she said she supported $2,000 stimulus payments. And then as soon as she got the opportunity to fight for those payments, she was like, eh, nah, brah. I'm just going to vote for the defense bill and go back home. So... She doesn't have a good track record with telling the truth over the last couple of weeks. So, I don't know. Is it possible that she wanted that freedom? Maybe. Is it likely? I'll let you speak on that one yourself because uh, I don't want to I don't want to be on the record in any which way um, except by saying, yeah, no, she totally fucking lied and it's honestly a little embarrassing. So, duh, throwing that out there. Um And that little girl was Joe Biden. Yep, the little girl was Joe Biden. 